Hey, what's up guys? This is Ian Lim from Circle. I'm the product lead for programmable wallets. And today I'm going to show you how to create your first wallet and initiate a transaction within minutes using our APIs and the provided SDKs, sample apps, and Postman scripts. So first off, come to our Web3 developer console and sign up for an account. When you sign in, you can create an API key here. Create your first API key. This will be used to uh, make all your API calls. And then for the user wallet, come click on the user control wallet, configurator, you'll be able to get your app ID here. This is needed in the sample app. Next, come to our GitHub account to download our SDK. If you're not familiar with SDK and you would like to prefer to start working with some sample apps, there's also a GitHub account for our sample app. In this example, I'm gonna use a sample app for simplicity. The app ID that you just copied from our console, paste it in here. Then the next step is to get started with the API calls. So once you get the sample app uh, running in your simulator, you can start with our Postman script. The user wallet will start with the post slash users API call. In the post body, you will provide a user ID. You can use this to reference back to user ID in your system. Once you get a success, you've successfully registered your user in your system. Then using the same user ID, you can call the post slash users slash token to get the user JWT token as well as the encryption key. These are important pieces of information that the user needs to authenticate. You can paste it in the sample app over here, which will be needed for the wallet creation as well as transactions. Next step, you want to create the first wallets. You'll call the post slash user slash initialize API. And as you can see over here, in the body, you'll need to provide an item potency key to ensure that these uh, API calls are unique, as well as specify the blockchain you want to create the wallets on. So in this example, we're going to provide the, um, the blockchains uh, for Ethereum, Polygon, and Avalanche testnets. Making these API calls, you'll get a change ID in response. Providing the challenge ID here in the sample app, you can invoke the SDK to ask a user to provide their PIN and configure it properly. The user will configure their PIN, confirm it, and set up security questions. So the recovery method would be done via security questions. So in the event that they forget their PIN, they can recover it by answering the security question that they configured. We ask the user to confirm the answer to our security questions. And the sample app um, via the SDK will make a call to our backend to create the wallets. Back to API call with the Postman scripts, we're able to make an API call to get slash uh, wallets in order to see that the wallets are created on the three test nets that we have specified. Next step, we're going to use Polygon, um, the Polygon testnet wallet, as an example to show how to start a transaction. So first off, identify that the Polygon testnet, the wallet ID, and the wallet address. Through the testnet Polygon scan, you can confirm that the wallet has been created successfully. So this is a valid address. There's no MATIC tokens in here. So we know that in order to initiate a transaction, you need gas tokens. So I'm going to send some MATIC tokens into this wallet. MATIC send. Confirm that it's showing up in the address over here. Going back to our Postman scripts, we can get the wallet balance of the wallet that I just created, Matic testnet. And as you can see over here, uh, we do have the 0 0.01 Matic that I've sent over. So it's the same that we see on chain. Next, we want to create a transaction. So with the transaction API, post slash user slash transaction slash transfer, uh, you'll be able to specify the fee level to specify how much gas fee you want to pay for it, the destination address, the amount, 
as well as a token. So in this case, we'll just send a native Matic uh, token. In response, you get back the challenge ID, very similar to what we have um, for the creating wallet API. You'll paste the challenge ID over here, back in the sample app. In this case, the end user will need to confirm um, that with the pin that they have configured. Once that's initiated, you can use a get challenges slash ID API to see the state of the challenge. As we can see over here in the response, it's completed. You have associated uh, transaction ID over here. We can see if the transaction has been completed. And this shows the state of the transaction, which is confirmed. So in this case, I can go back to Polygon Scan. As you can see over here, the transaction have been gone out. Back over here, using the Get Wallet Balance API, you can see the amount is also reflecting the same exact amount that we see here on the blockchain. So voila, this is how to create your first wallet and initiate transactions with our APIs and SDK. Hope this was simple to follow and happy coding guys.